everyone i just want to before i make this video i want to uh, preface it by saying obviously most people that know me <laughs> i have no faith in the political system and for reasons that i've explained on prior videos and prior comments and i'm sure most people that know me probably understand why but for those who do i even created a little facebook page i don't pay much attention to it canada's nota initiative none of the above but for those who do um i just want to read this uh this little thing i i, I wrote up on for my page <clears throat> every federal provincial and local election cycle canadians all over the country head out to their local polling stations in order to cast their vote and every single time they are prevented presented with a very limited option of pre-selected candidates from one of the established political parties. If none of the pre-selected candidates appeal to the voter, their only options are to plug their nose and vote for the lesser of the evils or abstain from voting completely, which leaves them feeling irrelevant and disenfranchised. After the last federal elections, when Harper and his Conservative Party managed to secure a majority with less than 40% of the total vote count, 23% of all eligible voters, it became very clear and obvious to most Canadians that we now had more people abstaining from voting, 10 million or 40% of the 24 million eligible voters, than the amount it took to secure that majority. Once any democracy reaches the point of such low voter turnout, it becomes a system of taxation without representation, where the majority of the population no longer has a say in how their taxes are spent and how the country is run. With the lack of a none of the above option, Canadians can't even register a protest vote in order to send a message to the established political parties. That's why I feel compelled to put forward the Canadian NOTA initiative at this point. It's time we at least give the 10 million Canadians who stayed home the last federal elections an option to make their voice heard and to finally acknowledge their reasons for abstaining from the political process. The same should also be done for every provincial and local elections too. Let's make it a point to bring about this desperately needed change to our ballot options. Let's, let's make it a priority to, prom to promote the NOTA initiative. This is just the beginning and one of the many ways that we can bring about real change to the current political process. So please share far and wide with everyone you know and stay tuned for the latest info about the Canadian NOTA initiative. So, like I said, I won't be voting for anybody. I don't believe in picking rulers no more. I've educated myself enough to the point where I realize it's a fruitless effort. It's a fruitless endeavor. But for those of you who do, and you want to, you should ask yourself, why is it that if you are supposed, I mean, the way they present things is you, the Canadian, are in charge. And when you're only presented with the limit of options, like, think about any other aspect in your life, whether it was the house you bought, car, your food, your furniture, your clothing. Think about it. if somebody walked up to you and said, okay, I'm going to give you a limited amount of options, but you have to pick from these options, but you're in charge as the consumer, right? As a consumer, you are actually in charge. But if you can only choose from pre-selected <laughs> options you're not really making a conscious decision or a proper choice you're just picking from what you're being told you can pick from so if you didn't like any of the options just like your car or your your clothes or whatever if you went into a store or anywhere and, and you didn't like the options well you can go somewhere else or you just don't have to buy it's as simple as that and this is how most of our life is run when you talk about dealing with people as far as financial transactions and stuff now in the econ or the political process it's it's the same basic thing except you don't get to choose i don't want any of these when you go to the voting booth if you don't if you see that okay the liberals have screwed around they're a bunch of corrupt idiots the conservatives are screwed you know they've been their tough on crime agenda is just completely they're they're just basically like they're pissing on the bill of rights and the NDP, well, they just want to have pure socialism. They want to turn Canada into 
you know, purist. So, I mean, not just a quasi socialist country, but full on socialist, right? So if you're like, I don't, I don't want any of these. I don't want any of them. No, you got to come up with something better. Somebody better fix. Well, you can't register a protest vote in the federal elections. You can't go in there and just go. This option, sh this this should exist. I mean, if you're the one that's in charge and your say matters, if you want to believe the bullshit they tell you that you're the boss, you know, they're your representatives or whatever. Well, if you don't like who's representing you, shouldn't you be able to have that option? Say, I don't like any of you. I mean, think about it. If the 10 million people, nine point whatever it was, 40% of the population last federal election. Think about, I mean, what did Harper get out of the out of the 14 million people that did vote? He got 23% of that. Uh, I'd have to sit down and do the numbers, but still, I mean, so 14 million, 40, 12, I don't know, let's say, let's say 6 million, 5 million, 5 million. Anyways, let's round there, right? 5, 6 million, let's just give him that. That's what gave Harper his majority government to just wham, run through 100% of the power and run through anything he wants. Meanwhile, 10 million, you know, almost double of that, didn't want none of them. Didn't want the Harper. So, you know, if 6 million voted, five, between 5 and 6 million voted for Harper and everyone else got a lesser amount, so you're talking maybe... You know, three or four million for the NDP and whatever was left for the liberal. So the majority actually, the people that stayed home almost make up as much of a number than who voted for almost every party combined. Think about that. So if you could have almost 10 million people to choose none of the above and say, hey, I mean, think about the message. You want to talk about fucking giving something to the media, something to talk about. You want to, you want to. You want to shake shit up? You want to you want to fucking call the politicians out and, and have them, you know, running for running for cover? Just give them. I mean, you know, I don't want to have nothing to do with the process. But I tell you, if there was this, I don't vote because I won't fucking choose a leader or a ruler that's going to steal from me and try to dictate my life. But if this was possible, I'd make a trip <laughs> just to. None of the above. Think about how many disgruntled Canadians that are they're sick and tired of this bullshit. At the very least, Canadians. I mean, fuck. If you want to tr promote the political process, can you at least, you know, make this a priority before the elections come up here in October? Can you at least say that I want to have the option to state, say, I don't want any of these idiots. Can you at least say that I want to be able to have my voice heard? If you want me to be a part of this democracy, right? Will you at least give me the option to sh tell you that I don't believe in any of these parties because they're all corrupt. I don't want anyone in these parties. Give me something else. That only fair? Whether you're liberal, conservative, or NDP, or independent, or libertarian, or whatever you're... Shouldn't you have that option? Isn't that what free choice is all about? I think so. I, I know so. So yeah, let's let's make this a priority for you people that want to, you know, support the political system. Stand up. Start talking about the Canadian Nota Initiative. Talk to me. Uh, you know, comment on my videos. Go to my Canadian Libertarian Facebook page, my own personal page, Next Gen News and Views page. Anyone, message me, whatever you got to do, because I'm more than willing. But, but so far, not too many people seem to want to pay a whole lot of attention to it. But I think it's really important for you people that think that the political process is necessary. At least do this. I'll support you. I'll back you up. I'm the one that thought of the idea. So, you know, yeah. Let's let let's do this. If you want if you want to make your voice heard, it's the best way to do it. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.